Hello aspirants, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an absolutely crucial topic to discuss that can significantly impact your exam preparation. With just 45 days left before the civil services main exam, in this video, we will discuss on how to start your answer writing practice for the geology optional paper in a step-by-step -step manner. Together, we will understand the importance of answer writing. We will also talk about the proper structuring of answers with relevant examples from the past year questions and I will also introduce you to the geology concepts test series which is specifically designed to enhance your preparation. So let's dive right in. First of all, let's understand why answer writing process is so crucial. I have seen many students including myself invest a significant amount of time in learning and gathering information but often struggle to present that idea or knowledge effectively in the examination, isn't it? Answer writing skills are game changers as they enable you to communicate your uh, understanding clearly and concisely to the examiner. Am I right? And that is why I must tell you, mains exam is not just about the knowledge. It's also about how effectively you convey that knowledge through your answers. Imagine you have studied intricacies of geomorphology, but when it comes to answering a question about landforms, your response lacks structure, it lacks clarity or any relevant examples. And unfortunately, my friends, this might cost you your valuable marks. And therefore, learning the art of answer writing is crucial for all of us. For instance, a well-structured answer backed by relevant diagrams and evidence can help you score even higher marks even if you haven't co covered every aspect of the subject or the topic, right? On the other hand, an inadequately framed response may not showcase your understanding which will eventually impact your final score. Therefore, we cannot emphasize enough how crucial answer writing skills are for your success in the geology optional paper in the UPSC Civil Services main. You can also see from the pie chart, I have emphasized the importance of structure, relevant examples and diagrams in your answers signifying their relative importance. Why? Because in the actual exam, as all of you must have already realized, there will be multiple questions where you will not have a clear idea about the topic from which the question was asked. But in those questions, these three parameters, that is the structure of your answer, along with the relevant examples and diagrams will be the game changers. And mind you, these are the questions which will decide whether you will make it to the merit list or not. Right? So let's understand how to do all this with an example from the previous year question. This question was asked in UPSC CSC 2022 mains paper in paper one. And it says, explain convergent plate boundary with suitable examples. Add a note about their characteristic of earthquakes at the convergent plate boundaries. Okay, so first of all, you need to keep in mind that this is a 10 marker question. And we have a restricted word limit of 150 to 200 words for each question, right? And we cannot exceed that word limit as this will attract penalty. So, we need to be very precise while touching upon each segment of the question. And to do that, let's break down the question into smaller parts. It has three parts. First is convergent boundaries and their types. Second is the relevant examples for each type of plate boundary, uh, the convergent boundaries. And the third segment asks us about the earthquake characteristic of the convergent margins. Now that we have a clear understanding of the question and its sub past, we can proceed with an answer. In this step, structuring of your answer should be your priority. That means, the introduction, main body and conclusion of your answer should be clearly defined and visible. Therefore, I will begin with the definition of convergent boundaries and a brief mention of the types of boundaries in my introduction itself. By doing so, I am serving two purposes here. First, I am addressing the first part of the question directly in my introduction and in the process, my introduction is sorted which is also relevant as per the demand of the question, isn't it? Now, next up, in the main body, I will explain the second and third part of the question. I will explain the types of plate boundaries along with their characteristic features and suitable examples for each type. And then, I will explain various characteristics associated with the earthquakes along these convergent plate boundaries. And to validate my points in this section, I will draw a contemporary example that has happened in the recent past. This is very crucial because of two valid reasons. Firstly, when you add this example to your answer, it immediately differentiates your answer from the rest. Secondly, as all of you know, the nature of UPSC exam is such that it rewards your awareness about the contemporary events around the world. Right? And in geology, people have a perception and tendency to write conceptual and technical answers rather than being uh, more uh, dynamic. Right? 
and by adding these kinds of examples uh, it will separate your answer from the rest of the uh, competition and that's all that it takes to score a good mark in the mains isn't it now for your reference this is a model answer of the question that we have just discussed as you can see uh, I have explained what a convergent boundary is its major characteristics that is uh, a collision or subduction of one plate beneath the other and I have also talked about very briefly about the other types of plate boundaries right uh, in, in my first introduction itself then I have explained the three types of plate boundaries along with their features and neat diagrams in the first section of my main body right see how it is uh, done now many students will write the examples in the first section itself right but to increase the visibility of my answer and to address the second part I have shown the examples separately through the flowcharts as you can see from the uh, diagram itself right it is more clear to the, to the examiner and it is also visible isn't it now coming to the third part you can again use flow diagrams to uh, showcase the major points associated with the earthquake characteristics such as shallow focus earthquake on the overriding plate and deep focus earthquake in the subducting plate right mega thrust earth earthquakes or the high magnitude earthquakes which are often ranging in the um, scale of 7 or higher in the richer scale which is due to the intense compression and frictional forces during the plate collisions frequency of earthquakes are very high and the subduct um, subduction zones which are uh, common at the convergent boundaries can trigger underwater earthquakes which uh, displace the large volume of water potentially leading to the formation of tsunamis you can add all these points in this structure as well right and you can uh, use the flow diagrams to explain those uh, points under this uh, the subsection that we I have just mentioned and lastly to validate your uh, points provide a real life example of an earthquake right uh, at a conversion boundary like the 2011 Togoku earthquake in Japan mention how this magnitude 9 earthquake because of the Pacific plates uh, uh, subduction beneath the North American plate has caused the massive under uh, undersea mega thrust earthquake and the devastating tsunami in Japan right and Finally, you need to conclude your answer uh, uh, by emphasizing the importance of uh, importance of understanding convergent plate boundaries and earthquakes, especially in regions prone to seismic activity. Mention that such knowledge is crucial for disaster preparedness and mitigation as well. This covers the answer holistically and gives a contemporary angle to your answer as you relate the convergent boundaries and its earthquake characteristics to the disaster preparedness and mitigation in your conclusion. Right? If this is clear to you all, let's talk about uh, the Geology Concepts Test Series specifically designed for the UPC Geology Optional Candidates. The Geology Concepts Test Series is meticulously crafted to simulate the UPC exam pattern and evaluation scheme, right? And the test series offers a well-structured and comprehensive plan that spans over the 45 days. It is designed by the subject matter experts which cover all the topics mentioned in the Paper 1 and Paper 2 of the Geology Optional Syllabus, right? And additionally, it incorporates regular mock tests which will help you to simulate the real exam environment. It uh, evaluates your performance, helps you to identify your strengths and also pinpoints areas that needs improvement. The best thing is the evaluation of our answer scripts or your answer scripts is done meticulously by our team of experienced mentors. They provide you in-depth feedback highlighting your strengths and weaknesses which will be really beneficial for you to find where exactly you need the improvement. Right? And this, series, this test series not only helps you uh, cover the syllabus in time but also aids you improving your answer writing skill and will uh, definitely make your answer more effective and impactful than the rest, right? And the test series is available in both online and in offline mode at, the, at our center at Pune and you can visit our website to obtain more information about this test series. And I know how uh, important an aspirant's time and money is and I don't want to make any false claim about our test series and our evaluation. Our students are our testament. You can see what some of our previously enrolled students have to say. Here, students talk about how the additional facts and value of added points helps to make his answers stand out and how fast evaluation and on-time feedbacks help you to learn from the mistakes even faster. Many a, many a times what happens is students are not aware of how much to write for a particular question as this student has the second uh, slide uh, shows how these students have identified that 
and how the test series helped her to understand the demand of questions and write accordingly in the exam right and sometimes students are in the right direction they just need a positive feedback mechanism to improve and take their preparation to the next level and we help you to do that through our test series as well right and in conclusion with just 45 days left before the PUPSC civil services exam you have a precious window to fine tune your preparation mastering the answer the art of answer writing is a essential as uh, as essential as comprehensively covering the syllabus isn't it and we believe in you and your potential to excel keep your focus stay motivated and embrace the challenges ahead remember hard work and perseverance will pave the way to success that's all for uh, today's video we genuinely hope you found this detailed guide in helpful and insightful if you have any questions or suggestions please please feel free to leave them in the comments below don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content thank you for watching and best of luck with your upsc preparation see you in the next video